People who tell you two weeks is not enough time to make yourself better are full of <laughs> MSM, in my opinion, has probably the best audition requirements, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But the pivotal piece for everything is Billy's Bounce. Now I'm going to tell you in just a sec why Billy's Bounce is such a great audition tune, but this is the 8020 drummer. Obviously I'm trying to bring something to you that you wouldn't just normally hit upon if you were just using all your instincts. So what I came up with, maybe the best way to help you guys with your audition tapes, uh, were a couple things. Number one, you want to focus on differentiators. Differentiators are aspects of your playing that are difficult to fake. So what are differentiators? One is slow tempos. Another is brushes of any type, but particularly brushes at slow and fast tempos. So that's what we're gonna deal with in our MSM audition tape. Billy's Bounce. Why do we dig Billy's Bounce? Billy's Bounce is a fantastic combination of downbeats and upbeats. And as I explain in the 8020 drummer video series, Downbeats are almost always difficult to play without dragging, and upbeats are almost always difficult to play without rushing. If you're good, you can, you can nail it, but it's even more difficult to fake at a slow tempo. It's no secret, in 8020 Drummer we practice time in two ways. We practice micro time and macro time. So micro time, you're gonna see me in my playing examples. I've got the metronome on all the triplets. Diddle-la, 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 diddle-la. And I'm just trying to play with a relaxed pocket and just hook up with every little metronome beat so much so that you don't hear it. Macro time. What you're gonna see now is me practicing with the metronome only on the last triplet beat of the 12 8 So triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. So practice Billy's Bounce that way, it's going to feel weird at first. But over the next two weeks, just get those things together, get a decent band, just play that, keep it simple, and just take a melodic solo over there shows you understand the tune. So now we're going to talk about sort of hacking the pre-scheme process just a little bit. And if you're smart, this has probably occurred to you, but you look for the required tunes from other schools like the Monk Institute and Juilliard, which have more stringent requirements. They have a repertoire list. And you just play those as your selectives for MSM. So, one tune that is on the Juilliard, I believe it's on the Juilliard list, that showcases brushes really well, is A Child Is Born by Thad Jones. Um, practice this the same way you practice Billy's Bounce with micro time and macro time. Just make it flow. You're going to see me demonstrating a couple of the things I call vocabulary chunks, which if you're a subscriber to the 8020 video series, you'll know vocabulary chunks in lesson two are the little abstracted pieces of vocabulary that are repeated again and again and again and again by our heroes in transcriptions. So you're going to see me in the footage doing a couple of vocabulary chunks that'll help you play slow in three. Um, 
And one thing I really love is like those little ghost notes. So the next thing you can do is fast brushes, because fast brushes are extremely difficult to fake. One tune that's on the Monk Institute repertoire list, which you can substitute in for MSM for a fast brush tune, is Seven Steps to Heaven. I am going to show you a couple of vocabulary chunks um, that help for playing fast. When you play fast, there's sort of a sweet spot in my opinion. You want to keep it simple. You, you, want, you want to be very clear about where your beat is so that people don't have to guess. People want that hi-hat on two and four. Even if you don't do it always, just demonstrate that you can and make it feel good. Um, but there are a couple of idiomatic ways to break up the time. And when you're playing fast, especially with strangers you haven't played with before, you, you want to play in a nuanced way, but you also want to supply them with some familiar vocabulary. For more detail, check out some of my basic brush strokes or check out Ed's Soph series. It's all this side to side. Ed Soph is the guy that really took it and made it into a system. I am completely uh, an Ed Soph disciple when it comes to brushes. Learn these vocabulary chunks, practice these three tunes, Billy's Bounce, if you choose, Billy's Bounce is mandatory, A Child is Born if you choose, Seven Steps to Heaven if you choose, practice the latter two with brushes, practice micro time, macro time, and you're going to have the best chance of putting your best foot forward for a second. 80-20 drummer, pre-screen tapes, peace.